I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. A recent leaked message regarding Rich Homie Kwan's death has left the fans shocked and heartbroken. This message is causing major distress and has revealed some previously unknown details about Kwan's death. So here's all you need to know about it. The sudden death of Rich Homie Kwan has left all his fans in absolute shock and horror. The 34-year-old rapper was found dead in his home, and now a 911 call has been leaked that's being linked to his death. This call gives an inside look at what actually happened and who found him at his house. The call was made by Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend, who found him lifeless at his Atlanta home. She panicked and called 911, saying, I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning, and I put a blanket over him, and now I just checked on him again cause he never got up. I don't see him breathing. I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. The panic in the voice of Kwan's girlfriend was very obvious, and her voice was trembling when she said something no one expected. I turned him over, and he was foaming at the mouth. His girlfriend continued, he's not waking up, his heart's not beating or anything. I turned him over, I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. The dispatcher on the call them instructed Amber Williams, Kwan's girlfriend, to find a defibrillator nearby. She revealed that she doesn't have a defibrillator, so the dispatcher said that the paramedics are on their way. Dispatcher also instructed Amber to just lay Kwan on his back, while she kept saying that he's not waking up. If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Alyssa, carefully lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. This leaked call is raising a lot of eyebrows as to what exactly happened to Quan. Some believe that he was poisoned by his enemies, while others are saying that he died of an overdose. However, nothing could be said for sure as the autopsy results are still not out. Some people are also pointing out what he posted in his last Instagram post, and that's actually pretty cryptic. He captioned a photo of himself with, Vision clear even through the BS. He was wearing a green jersey in the photo with glasses on. Some of his close friends are also revealing now that they got word that rich homie Kwan lost his life due to an overdose. Now, Kwan's troubles with substance abuse aren't new. In fact, he was even charged for drug possession back in 2017. Although the case was dismissed in 2019 because there wasn't a lot of evidence, everyone knew that rich homie Kwan was always on some sort of drugs. I'm partying so hard and I'm on the, I'm on the so gone, I'm thinking this shit hard. That was your biggest issue at that time? Yeah, Miley, I was on that like every day, bro. Rich Homie Kwan's father has also opened up about his death in a heartbreaking message on IG. He talked about what he's feeling after losing his son. The fans are heartbroken because the message is so emotional. It goes, Lord, please help me understand this. To lose my son, my firstborn, my best friend. Lord, please let this be a dream. Y'all pray for me and my family. I feel like I'm crushed into a million pieces. Quan's father was also his co-manager, and they spent a lot of time together, so Quan's death hit him the hardest. Boozy Badaz also talked about rich homie Quan's death, saying that he just talked to him the other day and it's shocking for him to find out what happened. He also revealed that the death was caused by OD. But apart from Boozy, no other legitimate sources have confirmed the rumors around OD. People are also not happy about how Boozy broke the news about OD as one fan wrote, Boozy just blasts his friend who overdosed. I mean, if it was public knowledge, I wouldn't be saying why my friend died but just my condolences to his family. Another one wrote, Yeah, I can't respect that. Boozy acting like he's talking to his family and friends posting that on social media. A lot of fans are also saying that they didn't know if rich homie Kwan was ever on some heavy drugs because he always seemed pretty sordid. He also had a girlfriend, kids, and a pretty solid career. Upon this, one fan wrote in interviews he said he was doing drugs almost every day for a year or two. 
He was probably exaggerating, but still he showed you what kind of state of mind he was in. He was showing off perks in that radio interview, sad that that's what got him in the end. I had me gone, bro. I was like on my, like the rich game days, like nigga, I was on my, probably like two years straight, like every day. Like nigga, I'm saying I'm taking before I go brush my teeth. But word around the block is that it might not be OD in the first place. People are writing on X. With everything going on right now, investigate his death to make sure it was just an OD. Another one wrote, somebody definitely killed this man. Now, rich homie Quan had no shortage of enemies. He had several feuds with other rappers, and that's probably what backfired. But he was also used to taking different substances. Also, the foam around his mouth does indicate that he was poisoned by something, possibly some substance he took before going to sleep. The investigation is still ongoing, but there's a chance that this case will turn into an OD case because of the track record of rich homie Quan, and nobody even looks into his enemies. His fans are actually very heartbroken, and his family is still in shock and trauma. Famous singer Jackie's also paid his respects to Quan, saying, Rest in peace, my brother rich homie Quan, I love you for life. Two Chains also paid tribute to Quan, writing on his IG, Damn Lil Brother, we just spoke about shooting a video, special prayer for you and your family and pray for any and everybody that's dealing with something, my condolences. Quavo also shared his feelings over Quan's death, saying that he never thought this was ever going to be a part of their journey. And engineer Alex Tume said that Quan was one of the nicest people he ever met. Fans are also disappointed over the fact that Quan never really got the hype and fame he deserved. And that's probably what made him resort to substance abuse. Insiders have reported that his girlfriend is also out of sorts and is struggling to actually accept that Quan is gone now. Once she's okay, the investigators would probably ask her to be involved in the investigation because she's the only one who was with him for most of his day. People think that an investigation into his death would bring out something much more sinister, like what happened in the Matthew Perry case. However, everyone is waiting for the autopsy report, which will make it clear whether it is a case of OD or something else. The fans are also demanding a crackdown on all these substances that are ending precious lives. So do you think the Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Quan actually died of OD? Drop a comment and let us know. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.